up, yeah. Big flower dumpling, nah left, yeah. Love me what you are, nah left, yeah. Love me right, you mean up, nah left, yeah. Love Don's River. We had dinner earlier, and now it's time for some dessert. Now, most Jamaicans love a good sweet potato pudding, especially around this time when we're celebrating our culture. So joining me is a lady who's known for her puddings and cakes, and from you hear our name, you know say she's a proper, proper baker, right? Marlene Dixon, my auntie, <laughs> Auntie Marlene, my new auntie, everybody, my new auntie, right? Um, how are you? Fine. Good stuff. Good to see you. Glad to have you in studio. Uh, you've you. got um, an amazing thing going on with your baked goods, right? In yeah. particular, your your banana banana cake or banana bread and your sweet potato pudding. But let's talk a little bit about that journey. What got you into baking in the first place? Well, I start baking for my kids first. Mm -hmm. For your kids? Yeah, first. Yeah. And then, you know, somebody would smell it and say, you have any selling, and then I was selling my slice and start to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, a friend came one day, I gave her a piece, and then she said, Wow, but this tastes good, man. You can continue doing it. So I just continue doing it. Yeah. How long now? I'm doing it like around 10 years now. 10 years? Mm -hmm. 10 years. And how are the children? Yeah. How are the children? They are okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we understand why you, you, you started, how long you started. What's the response been like since you know, the past decade? It's good, you know, tell yeah. you the truth. It's yeah. good. Yeah. It's really good. Where most of your customers come from? Because you're, you're based in, in Sherlock. Sherlock Crescent. Sherlock yeah. Crescent. But where most of your customers come from? The community or wider? Wider. Yeah. Because most of them come from Crossroads Inn. Mm -hmm. Or if somebody just called me out of the blues yeah. and I can't do it, yeah. fine, I do it. Things I get people road. like from St. Hans, Montego Bay. Yeah. All over. Who does it better say, um, who does it better potato puddings? You are that spot in Incent and um, when they just come off the toll there. Um, you know the place on, on, on the I know where you're talking, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you have to try it and tell me. <laughs> I think you've got the edge. Um, now, that's really, really good stuff. But for Jamaicans at home who don't know how to make a good sweet potato pudding, what goes into making a really good sweet potato pudding? All right. Yeah, first you're going to peel your potatoes, right. wash them. Yes. The hardest part is to grate them. Yeah, you have to grate them. You have to grate them. You can't add the water top and blend it up. That, no, no, I tried that and it didn't work for me. I don't know if it worked for anybody else, mm -hmm. but it just didn't work for me. Right. So I'm, I grate them. So yeah, wash it, peel it, grate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you do your coconut now. Yeah, what do you do with the coconut? Well, I cut it up and blend it. I break it, cut it up, mm -hmm. blend it. Right. Real rich. Right. Right. I use coconut milk, mm -hmm. sugar, yeah. and maybe a tips of flour. Depends on how dry the potato is. Right. Okay. Right. And your spice, yes. like a mixed spice. So that's like a cinnamon, cinnamon nutmeg. nutmeg. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Like a vanilla. Like an almond extract. You can put like an almond extract in yeah, there. Into it, yeah, into it. Yeah. Right. Sometimes I tip a little wine. Okay. Pens. All right. Yeah. Ginger can go there too? Like a yeah, you can grate yeah. a little ginger. Because most of them I put ginger in there right. sometimes. Mm hmm when I have enough ginger. Right, and then what do you do? You combine all of that? Yeah, mix it and combine it. And depends on your texture. Like oh. I mix it to my texture. Mm -hmm. Some people like it sweet. Yes. Some like it soft. Right. Some like it hard. Because mm -hmm. this man from over him said, just make my own tough. Like a hard old bread? Yes. <laughs> I made him one once and yes. it was kind of soft. He said, I don't want it that soft. I can make it tough. It's good, but make mm -hmm. it tough. Good. Now, and so once you've combined all of that, what, what next do you do? You put it in your baking, your greased no. baking tin? Grease the baking tin with yeah. butter. Mm -hmm. And then I light the oven because you have to preheat yeah, pre it. Right. Mm -hmm. right. What temperature? Uh, what 350. 350 degrees. And how long you bake it for? All right. Well, the puddings I bake for four hours. Four hours? Yeah, because I cover it first with file paper. I like it to soak. Mm hmm. So when it's soak a bit and almost finish, yeah. I ease it off and just make it get a little hard on top. Oh, okay. So you, you'd probably bake it for like, what, three and a half hours right. cover? And then and like then the last just, half hour, you just, you just yep. uncover it. Yep. Good. Now them have this thing when I'm saying, well, hella top, hella bottom, where yeah. that go? <laughs> All right. Some people does it. I don't. Okay. Because, because I can't mind, you know, I have to go to Crossroad. That shop sell it for me, you know. Mm, okay. So when I cut them up and, and bag them out, mm -hmm. No, make no sense. I make the L a tap on. You know, understand? Right. But I know they do it. Yeah. You make it half bake and join it. Right. You throw some more of the mixture on the top. Mm -hmm. So when 
the bottom finish bit now. Right. The mixture still soft. Okay, gotcha. Ah, all right. I think I'm going to try that one. What else do you do? Because we're talking about your sweet potato yeah. pudding. But well, I do this Christmas cakes, do you know? Oh, nice. Fruit Christmas. cakes. And I do in a fruit cake longer than the pudding. Oh, nice. So fruit cake. Yeah. Um, sweet potato pudding. This is banana. Banana cake. Banana cake. What else? Yeah. And just that, mostly. Just those three, mostly. for the most part. Yeah, that mostly, because I do fruit juice, too, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, understand? There's a whole heap of things that go with them. Yeah. Yeah. I like that, though. Yeah. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, obviously, I've got to give this a taste. Okay. And I'll never will come true, because... I never. <laughs> which one do you prefer? The sweet potato and... Oh, Clive, of course. Oh, Cl yeah. Oh, all right. Now, thanks. <laughs> and this is what happens here. Every yeah, morning. never... Yeah. <laughs> So th thanks, thanks for clearing the set, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but look, it's finished. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. I just want to take a quick bite. Yeah, so that's I can. not so sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's also here for this. <laughs> so I get in the forks, y'all. No? Mm -hmm. Fork? Knife? No? Napkin? <laughs> mm, this is really good. Yeah. It's not sweet. Like it's not, you know, like how some people think like really, yeah, really sweet as I mentioned. I didn't want to make it that sweet. Some people don't like it sweet. Mm -hmm. I really, really like it. The texture is very, very good. It's moist, but it's not too moist. All right. How do we get in touch with you? How do we? Oh, how do we place the, or the orders? I have my numbers. <laughs> Come on, Timothy. Five eight four six five one five. Five eight four six five one five. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Five eight four six five one five. Yeah. Auntie Maxine, the amazing sweet treats. Uh, get your orders in for your banana cake, your sweet and potato pudding, and your Christmas cake. All right. Well, rollout is uh, next, and they're rolling out. <laughs> the set go. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>